Beans, Beans, the Musical Fruit. Well, tomorrow we have a barbecue, and I decided I'm going to do something I haven't done in a very long time. I'm going to make baked beans. And I'm doing it from scratch. I'm not opening up a can. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to cook it in a clay pot. We have a clay pot that we use all the time. To cook something in a clay pot, you need to soak the clay pot for about two to four hours before you start, a, start baking in it. With beans, everybody kind of knows one of the things beans does is, is, is they give you gas. Well, why do they give you gas? They have what are called, let's see if I can get this right, it's galacto-oligosaccharides. And those are short-term carbohydrates. They also have fructans, which are also short-term carbohydrates. Short-term carbohydrates are hard for the body to digest, although they are very good for you, and beans, as a result, are very good for you. Well, if you want to reduce the gassy factor of beans, oligosaccharides and uh, fructans dissolve in water. So you soak the beans overnight for about 24 hours before you cook with them, and that gets rid of some of the substance that makes you gassy. So I'm going to actually cook these tomorrow, but I start out the day before by putting them in water and then we're going to soak them overnight. You don't need to put them in the refrigerator when you're soaking them, but you can if, if it makes you uncomfortable to just leave them out at room temperature. And then tomorrow we'll go ahead and we'll get baking. Our beans have been soaking overnight. As you can see, they've absorbed a lot of the water, but we want to drain out the rest of the water. So also, I've been soaking a clay pot in water for about the last 20 minutes or so. You want to do that when you're cooking in a clay pot. Um, clay pots are great to cook beans in, and so we're going to use this pot for our beans. We're going to make Boston baked beans. Why is it called Boston baked beans? Well, there's actually a story for that. Back in the 1600s, the Native Americans taught the settlers from Europe how to make baked beans using bear fat. And someone in Boston, where they manufactured molasses, thought about putting molasses into the beans. It became so popular that eventually Boston was called Bean Town. And uh, to this day, we make baked beans with molasses and other things. So what we're going to do here, we're going to take an entire medium onion. We're going to put about half of it on the bottom of the clay pot. In with that, we're going to use sliced salt pork. Now it already comes sliced in a package here, so that makes it easy. We don't actually have to prepare it. We just have to pull it out and use it. And so here it is. You can find this in your supermarket. I've found it in supermarkets all over the country, so it's not hard to find. You want to take about somewhere around a quarter pound of the salt pork and put it over the onions. and then take about half the beans and put them on top. Put in the rest of your onion. Put another quarter pound of the salt pork on top of that. brown sugar, firmly packed. Put about a third cup of molasses over that. And put just about a teaspoon of Coleman's dry mustard on top of that. We're going to cover this up you're going to put it in an oven 
With the clay pot, you always put it in a cold oven first, otherwise the pot itself will crack. Okay, put it in a cold oven. You turn the oven on to 370 degrees. Now you're going to bake it for around four hours or so. Every hour you're going to pull it out and you're going to stir it and you're going to get everything all coated. And then after four to five hours, the beans are going to be ready. Now in the old days, they used to bake it for 24 hours. They would put a pot of beans over the fire, maybe on a Saturday, and then it would be ready on Sunday when you're not allowed to work. So it was a really nice uh, dish during colonial times for the Sabbath. Nowadays, it's just a delicious dish. It's been about four and a half hours. The beans are done. They're baked. They're all ready, as you'll see, they changed color. And now they're ready. So good. Classic flavor, you can taste the, the salt pork, you can taste the molasses, you can taste all the flavors. This is a nice old-fashioned bean flavor. It's delicious.